Hey everybody, welcome back. So let me show you what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be comparing this to what you've probably already seen in my channel to this. So let me go over real quick. My bow here. This is my modern day hunting bow compound one arrow length in front of the bow, or the bow speed, I should say, arrow speed, it's shooting at 255 feet per second. With, at that, at that rate, it's about 54 foot-pounds with a 376 grain arrow. So, 54 foot-pounds compared to 177 pellet going around 875 feet per second with only 12 to 13 foot pounds. I can already tell you right now the bow is about four to five times faster depending on the arrow weight and what setup I use, but let's just say as of right now it's shooting four times more powerful. Even though it's a little bit slower, it's about a third slower. It's shooting um, a lot more powerful than this. And uh, the, the actual arrow, like I said, 376 grains is because it's shooting that low. So if it was shooting something as small as a pellet, it would be flying. Um, but, you know, 7.4 grains, about 13, 12 to 13 pounds at 875 feet per second. It's not too bad for an air rifle. So the question is, which is more powerful but like I said this bow is probably going to win and this video is going to be a spin-off to a, a new series I'm going to be doing called how deadly accurate our modern day compound hunting bows or modern day bows doesn't matter really but because these right here are probably as accurate if not more accurate than your everyday air rifle your modern day air rifle and they're more powerful so you know I'm not just gonna sit here and tell you about it I'm gonna do some shooting with it just to show you there's a big difference so let's get to it all right so this test is going to consist of shooting this air rifle, this is Crossman Phantom 177 using the Crossman Premier pointed pellets at a one gallon jug at 20 yards. I would shoot a little bit farther but the wind is going to cut out my mic so I hope you guys can hear me so let me go ahead and show you the jug downrange. There it is 20 yards sitting on top of some buckets so I'll have the slow-mo set up down there for you. So let me go ahead and take my shot. Alright guys, let's take a look at it. Alright, so I got my camera switched around. We're gonna go look at the jug here. Hopefully you guys can hear me really well. I'm trying to cut the wind out as much as possible. Alright, let's see here. 
So, there's the entrance hole, right there. There's the exit. So it went in barely and it barely came out. There's the pellet, just barely came out. So I'm actually gonna move this back a little bit because I know the air will go right through it and I'll show you that too, so. Hold on a second here. So you're gonna have to excuse the wind here. It's blowing about 40 miles an hour when I'm out here. But uh, we're gonna take our shot at the gallon jug with an arrow, just a field tip, nothing special. Using my Bear Legion uh, 60 pound bow right now. It's probably set about 52, 53. I turned it down a little bit just to be more relaxed when I shoot for practice, but still it's got some power to it. So at 200 and uh, like 60 from this arrow, 255, something like that. Uh, it's still putting out 54 foot pounds. So, all right, let's take a shot. All right, let's see what the slow mo looks like. I'll take you down there. Alright, so I just took my shot on my bow. Let's go see how I did here. Then I'll have a slow motion to follow here, but like I said, you're gonna have to excuse the wind. It's pretty bad out today, even though it's it was about 50 degrees out earlier. Now it's getting pretty chilly, but zipped right through it. No problem. It still had enough force. There it goes right there. And even cut, the veins even cut through the plastic. I've never seen that happen before. It looks like a broadhead shape. So I take it that those veins going that fast would cut you. And then, to top it all, let's see how much penetration we have here. That's in there pretty deep. This arrow is a 29 inch arrow, so that's about not including the tip, about 18 inches of penetration on top of going through that one gallon jug of water. That did not affect that arrow one bit. The veins got, I guess, a little sliced, but it did more damage to that jug than it did the, the arrow. All right, everybody. Well, I hope you like the comparison here of the modern day hunting compound bow versus the modern day air rifle. Um, it just goes to show it doesn't matter what it is. If it's got a flying projectile coming out of it, it's just as dangerous as anything else. So I hope you like this series of the air guns, how deadly accurate they are. Like I said, this is leading into a different series that I'm trying to make here. And, uh, you know, if you guys like the arrow stuff, I've been doing like some tips and stuff and tricks on how to shoot. But uh, if you want to see more of what I do and you like uh, you like the air gun series, but you want to see it with the bow, um, you know, let me know. Leave a comment below. I appreciate you guys watching. And uh, these videos are really fun for me to do. And I like doing them just to show people, you know, that uh, no matter what it is, you know, you have to take consideration of what you're doing, whether it's archery air guns it doesn't matter a bb gun so anyways i appreciate you watching as always and if you like it the video let me know in the comment below if you like me to carry on the series to archery um, i have a compound bow i don't have a recurve but i have a compound bow and a crossbow that i could do for a modern day series to compare 
But uh, anyways, like I said, I appreciate you guys watching, and we will see you on the next video, everybody. And sorry for the wind. <laughs>